Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a what you're not expecting to happen forecast for the first half of June. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mystical. Well, not my name isn't Mystical Crystal Tarot, but my name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also make sure you guys smash the like button so that you can get notified when I do have future readings coming out, okay? Um, and yes, if you're new here as well, make sure you check out my description box if you are um, looking to get a reading from me. I do offer 20% off for my newer clients. So I will have the Zodiac quiz for Scorpios listed below to get that 20% off as well as the emailing list um, opportunity that's on my website as well is how you can get that 20% off. So definitely make sure you take advantage of that. All right, so let's see what's going on. Scorpios, what are they not expecting to happen or what surprises may come up in the first half of June, 2020? Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are they not expecting to happen that may actually take place in the first half of July 2020? I'm going to back these up. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about it, okay? So Scorpio's first cards I want to talk about are going to be adjacent possibilities and the sun card. A lot of you are going to realize that the way that you may have been doing things for some time may have been completely wrong. Like, um, and I'm not saying that in a way to kind of put you guys on the spot. Um, but a lot of times we always think like, why me? Why me? Why is this not working out for me? Why is this not working out for me? Why can't I have this? But we never really look at, okay, well, what exactly are you doing? Like we never point the finger back at ourselves in a lot of situations to kind of really understand the full scope of why something didn't work. People always tell me, I can I can never find love. I can never find love. Every time I open up, I can't get somebody to, you know, commit to me. I can't get somebody to be honest. And the question is always, well, how have you been dating? Have you just been accepting anybody who's interested in you? Or are you dating people who you know subconsciously or you know under the surface that they're never going to fully commit, they're never going to fully give you what you're looking for, but you just keep hoping and then you just keep putting that in there or, you know, putting that hope in the situation as if hope is going to translate into reality. Okay, so this is speaking to more. I only use that example to really say like for some of you, if you have been seeing um, a lack of growth in certain areas in your life, it's going to be a month now of realizations of, okay, I need to try this approach instead of trying to approach it this way. For some of you, if you want new love, your energy may be coming off completely defensive. Like you may be just coming off very, very hard to like, you know, uh, break the barrier with, or you just maybe coming off very like, well, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to stand for this. And nobody wants to be with anybody who's just going to come off very, very standoffish. So for a lot of you, like this is reevaluating the ways that you're handling situations. That's going to determine pretty much what happens for you. And for a lot of you, like I said, this realization is going to come in. Now, another realization that's going to come in is you guys need to spend more time some of you guys may find out that you have a baby because I just realized that there's a baby in this thing right here. I did not even know that was a baby this whole time. Some of you may realize that, um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of things in these cards. Jeez. Okay. So some of you may realize that you may have a baby on the way. Like if you recently was doing some stuff without protection, uh, that may come up. Some of you, you may get back into like writing this book. If you have been taking some time to like um, focus on other things and you've been writing a book for some time, I do see you getting more into that. Or for some of you, you may read like some life changing book as well this month as, um, as well. 
Some of you may also realize that you're more inclined to do like some art stuff as well. Like you may try like some watercolor painting or something or abstract painting. I'm also seeing some of you may be picking up like a new instrument or there's an instrument that you may know how to play already that you've kind of put down and that instrument may come back up during this time frame, okay? But let's look at the cards over here. I do have the Hierophant, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Three of Swords, the Star card, and I also have the Three of Cups. So more things you may not be expecting to happen. For a lot of you, if you're married or just in a really, really serious commitment, even engaged in a sense, uh, there's going to be a very important what is this um, phone call or conversation that's going to be had between you and your person that if you guys don't communicate effectively may cause you guys to split up for some time. But I don't feel like it's going to be a permanent split up for some of you guys. You may have like a quick breakup and then get right back together right after. Some of you, this is also having a conversation with somebody who you may have dated um, that may also clear up why either you needed to leave somebody alone in the first place. Like this person comes back around, you have a conversation with them. You're like, yeah, I should have left you alone a long time ago. And now I see why, or you're going to have a phone call with this individual or a conversation that's going to really put things in perspective as to why you need to move forward. Like I just get that energy strongly. For some of you, you also may just have more of an understanding, if it's not a phone call, more of an understanding of why something was like needed for you to walk away from it. Some of you, you guys are about to come to some sort of like understanding of how you can like really run up your finances or or get to the bag okay with the page of wands you may get some inspiration from like a fire sign that may be in your life to you know start some sort of new method in regards to how you make your money or you may get inspiration through like some sort of like i said new idea creative idea that's gonna make you more money this is beautiful Some of my Scorpios, if you've been single for some time, I actually do see an opportunity for a very committed relationship to come your way. And again, this may be a younger fire sign. If not a younger fire sign, somebody who just has very youthful energy um, and may come off a, a very playful at times, okay? <laughs> a little bit of a jokester. OK, some of you guys may casually uh, have somebody who you like may sext. <laughs> All right. Not trying to get into anybody's business specifically, but somebody who you may have like a, you know, a casual connection with where things may get more than just casual as well. And that's for some of you. Now, I do see some healing energy that's going to come in the first half as well. What you may not expect to happen is for some of you, you may even have a chance to heal a relationship that went left due to the fact that there was a third party, whether this was on your end or their end. Um, or if it's not you getting back with this person is you healing from that connection. So please save me because I know there's going to be like 20 people that are just going to be like, I don't want that person. F you, Daniel. I Listen. Please keep it to yourself, okay? Some of y'all, I see y'all in the comments and I'm like, the person's not even here on the post, all right? I love y'all, but some of y'all just be going too crazy in the comments for me, all right? Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna stop right here. Uh, thank you so much, Scorpios, for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Um, I really just see this being a month of realization and like I said, a shift in the way that you go about handling situations and 
the doors starting to open up for you as well, okay? So I wish you many blessings. If you wanna see what the month of June has in store for you specifically, I do have a reading up on my website. It's only like $15 right now. So take advantage of that while it's up for like the next couple of days. Um, again, if you are gonna be a new client, you just wanna book any type of session from me, take advantage of the 15 or not 15, but the 20% off opportunities by joining our emailing list or taking the Zodiac quiz. I will have that below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Scorpios.